My name is Skyler Draven and welcome back to Let's Learn Stellaris. Last time we went over the user interface, so this time we are going to figure out exactly what we have going on in our little chunk of the solar system. As you can see, we are just kind of positioned on this little arm of the galaxy. We have a lot of stuff we got to explore, but before we can really do that, we need to understand exactly what we're looking for when we explore. So you have two basic ships like we discussed last time. You have the construction ship and the science ship. The construction ship builds, the science ship obviously does the exploration. So what you want to do is you want to click on your science ship. It's usually piloted by a scientist. These get ranked throughout the game and they also have little traits that they'll get. So anomaly fail risk negative 10%. So you'll find anomalies throughout the game and hopefully we'll get one when we're exploring our little solar system here. So I can kind of show you what to do with those. So what you want to do is you want to right click on the sun and you'll get four options. You can move to the sun, survey just the sun, or you can survey the system, or you can enter the orbit. So what we want to do is we actually want to survey the whole system. As you can see, it basically just plotted a course to explore each and every moon and planet in the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, just hit play here, and we're going to get this going a little bit. And while we're talking about that, you'll see you have a bunch of different options here. You can survey, research anomaly, fleet stance. So... This one uh, is set to evasive, so if we run into any hostile uh, forces, they'll try to run away the best he can. You can assist research, so you can um, help, you can put basically two science ships together, and they'll increase the output while uh, researching on different planets. And then you have special projects, you'll find special projects throughout the game, and they will, uh, they'll pop up and give you a little dialogue, and they will show up over here in the situation log. So as you can see, the science ship's really starting to pump out some stuff. Let's take a look. We'll pause real quick. Let's click on the sun. So we'll just click on the name, Agara. It's a class M sun, uh, the most common type of star in the universe. And you will see that it has two power. And you know, as we discussed earlier, energy credits. It gives you two energy credits. We need energy credits. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and we're going to click on the construction ship. The construction ship is what you use to build any mining platforms or mining stations and research stations and frontier outposts. We'll get more into the frontier outposts and the, and the terraforming stations and the military stations later on in a later video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on him and we're gonna right click on the sun and you'll see you have some options here. Build mining station, terraforming station, observation post and frontier post. Right now we're just really concerned about getting our little solar system mined up and getting as many resources from it as we can. So we're going to go ahead and build mining station right there on the planet. As you can see, it auto, basically auto-oriented itself to go take care of that. So while our science ship is still scanning up plan, planets, we're going to have the construction ship go and we're going to build these little outposts. Now here we go. We have we encountered a form of alien vessel. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens until we can learn more about them. We're going to leave that for right now. And just more little dialogues. We're going to leave that for right now. I'm going to cover what to do with that in the next video. But as you can see, if we zoom out, he's right over there. The alpha aliens are in the Gossic, uh, Gossic system, but we're just going to kind of leave them for now. We're focused mainly on how to get the mining going and how to understand what you're researching. Let's take a look at the moon. This little asteroid, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, it's a larger asteroid. As you can see, it'll tell you what type of planet it is the habitability of the planet and what kind of resources it has. So this has a habitability of 0%, which means no life can exist on this little asteroid. So let's see, hopefully we get something a little bit better. Uh, we're gonna look for a planet maybe that we can make habitable or a planet that's got decent resources. As you can see, uh, he's going along here, a toxic world, nothing, uh, nothing habitable on it. You got a barren world, nothing habitable on it. Right now, the only world that we know of that's any good is Agaria, our homeworld. So if you could, you want to zoom in on this here, you take a look. That's a construction ship just kind of building out this mining platform over the sun. We're going to be mining the sun. How cool is that? You know, you can't really do that in many games nowadays, but you're going to harness the power of the sun. That is amazing. All right, so if you look over here, this little planet has actually four different things. It's got three moons and the planet itself. You can live on moons just like you can live on planets. They're usually just smaller and don't offer as good of resources. So we got the science ship just kind of chugging along. We got the construction ship building there. After the construction ship is done with the sun, you kind of want to make sure you have mining platforms on everything that you can because you need these three resources. Influence kind of takes care of itself. Um, you'll find, like I said in the other video, things that you can do to increase 
your influence, building things such as uh, outposts actually lower your influence. So you need to be careful to watch that. But these are the two big ones. You need you need energy and you need minerals. And so what we're going to do is, uh, there we go, We on this little moon I can't pronounce, there's another, you know, two minerals over there. So we're just going to kind of let these things do. Look at that, we're still finding more aliens, which is fine. We're going to leave them be for right now. There we go. Complete the construction of the mining station. Let's zoom in and take a look at the mining station. Because I personally think the artwork in this game is just phenomenal. Look at that. That little guy is going to be harvesting the power of the moon. That is really cool. All right, so as you can see, if you look on the right-hand side, this will give you a quick overview of what your ships are doing. Your construction ship is currently sitting idle because he just finished building that platform. And your science ship is surveying the, the different planets and moons throughout our little solar system. So we're going to click mining back on... Oh, wait, we clicked on the mining station on accident. We're going to click on the actual construction ship. We're going to right-click, and we're going to build a mining station right over there on that asteroid. That way we can increase our minerals as you can see our energy was at a plus eight we're now at a plus ten because we're getting two more from harvesting the sun this planet was pretty much useless it's a gas giant can't do much with it um but you can get a couple of minerals off one of its moons which is going to be kind of helpful this isn't exactly what i consider a great uh starting solar system but we'll make it work you know it's not the end of the world we do have some more to kind of hey we got some visitors all right, I don't want to ruin anything, but I'm really not worried about those guys. They just kind of float around. Don't really have to worry too much. The game is very forgiving at the very beginning. You don't have to worry too much about the little floaty aliens, at least on the normal difficulty. All right, so... Okay, so the scientist has gained a level. And it's the scientist foam pack who is on the Cal Tormon, which is our science vessel. So as the scientists level up, they'll get extra abilities. They'll they'll basically do their jobs a lot faster. All right, so we have finished our mining station. Let's take a look at the mining station. Looks very similar as the one that does the power. So it, there's another thing you can do. If you explore a system quickly, you can zoom out. You can right click just on the, the solar system you're on and hit build mining stations. And what that, that'll do is that'll actually just build all the mining stations inside of your planet. And then on this little overview, the green numbers are things that you've actually begun to mine. The white numbers are things that you have not. So you can take a quick little overview and see what you're missing on uh, inside of a solar system to get mining. So the home world is just kind of chilling right now. Our fleet's really not doing much. We could go attack those aliens, but like I said before, they're pretty much harmless. So we'll just kind of take a look, see what we got going on. Hopefully we'll find something of, of interest. All right, so we got another two energy credits that we can mine off of this gas giant. The moon, the moons are hit or we miss. Sometimes you'll get an anomaly. We have found From an anomaly. Perfect. Time, our science ships will discuss Quiet. system survey complete. All right, so this is an anomaly. Basically, it's like a little impromptu event. And what you can do is you can leave it be, change the scientist if you have a higher rank scientist you want to do it. Or you can just research it. Over here, you'll see the level of the anomaly and the failure risk of the anomaly. Whenever you decide to do an anomaly, it's going to stop whatever the science ship is doing and begin working on the anomaly. So if you're in a big rush to get, you know, a solar system surveyed or anything like that, you're going to want to just pass on it for the time being. But since we're no rush whatsoever, we're just going to hit research and let it do its thing. As you can see, you can track it right here on the right-hand side, make it good and easy for you to see what's going on. And it's also got this cool little, uh, this cool little microscope icon, which you can even see when you're zoomed out, which is really handy for when, you know, you start taking over gigantic swatches of the galaxy. All right, so he's just, he, oh, wait, the construction ship's done. Uh, what else do we have to do here? All right, we got some more power. Oh, it's right there. All right, so we'll take the construction ship. We'll right click. We'll build the mining station. As you can see, we're starting to run out of minerals. But that's okay. At the beginning of the game, you're going to be jockeying back and forth between having too much energy, too many minerals, too much energy, too many minerals. It's, it's a back and forth thing, but you'll eventually get the balance. All right, so we found one of our old probes on Cadmina Mog. It has somehow kept intact all these years and is still trying to send data to our homeworld. It stands as a testament to our past struggles and our wish to flee our planet's bounds. We can continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies whenever we get the chance. They'll most assuredly grant us new knowledge and technology. Our efforts have finally paid off. 
Now, as you can see up here in the top left, our situation log is now growing, glowing like a goldish orange color. So you can see we actually have two different little situations that we can work on right now. We can investigate the alpha aliens and the beta aliens, but we're going to leave those for the next video. And you'll see these little tickers kind of go by the top screen. You can just hover over, over them. It's your little notification to let you know when something finished. As you can see, our science vessel kind of stopped what it was doing because it did the little research project. So what we could do is we could just right click on, did we actually hit up everything? I think we did hit up everything. All right, so the entire planet is actually researched out or the solar system is actually researched out. So there's not much there. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna get our science ship to kind of explore another solar system. So you find one that you wanna to go to on the map and you're just gonna right click and you're gonna right click and hit survey system. So we're gonna go into this system here, which is the Musadina, Musadia, Musadia system, which has a good, uh, good variety of, of planets. Now here's another good one. We, uh, we can take a look and we can see that this planet hasn't been surveyed, but we know it has a habitability of 80% due to sensor readings. So this, this planet here has a habitability of 80%. And if you remember the last video, we were talking about the planet size. This one's 21, which means you have 21 different squares that your population can actually inhabit. So this might actually be a really good planet to expand to eventually. So, and you can see as we put our ship over there, we can see where our actual realm of influence kind of carries us. This is all our space. Nobody's going to really mess with us in that. All right, so in this video, we kind of showed you how to get your science ship going to explore. We got the construction ship going. We're pumping in some more energy. We are pumping in some more minerals. And my name is Kettler Draven. I hope you learned something in this episode. If you liked it, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys again.